Hello everyone, welcome to today's Sky Racing Wednesday news and as we know the field for the Tab Epsom has been out for 24 hours now and while some putters are starting to wheeze away from Dreamforce that's certainly not the case for trainer John Thompson. Uh, look he remains quite positive that Dreamforce is still one of the main chances despite having to carry 57 kilos and of course barrier 20. He was so strong to win the tramway as you watch it here uh, he's run the other day behind Villiers, he did nothing wrong and according to John he feels that there's not a lot of speed on the map so he thinks that Dreamforce and Nashua Willa will be able to come across nicely from the draw and set up uh, set right up on the pace where we normally see Dreamforce so from John Thompson's point of view don't be dropping off at this stage Colding is the outright favourite to win the Epsom over Dreamforce and Tiako Shark and Rock is right there the Cameron Handicap winner from Newcastle so it's an intriguing race as it should be the tab Epsom coming up on Saturday and for South Australian jockey Dominic Tenor what a call up he received the late last night uh, getting a call from the Gwenda Markwell stable to ride Archer Demas in the uh, tab Epsom on Saturday now Dominic Tenor uh, he's won uh, multiple group one races he's been placed five times in group one races he used to be known well astonishingly it's 10 years ago when he came to prominence when he rode Elko Pop for Jake Stevens, who ran so well in multiple races in Melbourne including this one the Herbert Powell when he steamed to victory didn't quite come off the next start in the Caulfield Cup but Dominic Tenor will ride Archer Demas at a very light weight of 50 and a half kilos on the weekend uh, he feels watching the horses replays Dominic that uh, he's a horse that puts himself right up on the pace and has a perfect draw to do that. He's a $71 chance, but it's another Group 1 winning uh, opportunity for Dominic Tenor. That's also the case for uh, Irish jockey Robbie Dolan, who's up six days a week at 3am to ride track work, and the hard effort is certainly paying off. He's going to be riding Scarlet Dream for his boss, Mark Newnham, in the Metropolitan come Saturday. Uh, he won two races on this mare, or she was a filly, back in the spring of last year. This one at Newcastle, she was absolutely dominant. Uh, she's drawn barrier two in the Metrop on Saturday. Uh, look, Robbie Dolan thinks that they'll be able to ride her a bit closer. They still want to have that finish at the end, but from barrier two, she's proven at this trip. So look, he's quite enthusiastic. Brimham Rocks is the favourite to win the Metrop over uh, Scarlet Dream, uh, who's right there. And so too, Stampede, who's lining up for a third straight week this week in the Metrop. And of course, the other big ride for Robbie Dolan is Cascadian for Godolphin in the tab Epsom. Well, at this stage, there are six lining up in the Premier Stakes on Saturday at Ramwick. Uh, we've got Home of the Brave, who is a dual acceptor. Now, the horse uh, returned to racing uh, a couple of Saturdays ago when it finished just outside the placings in the shorts. Uh, the horse has been accepted for this race, where it's come up with Barrier 3, and it's also accepted for by Godolphin at Flemington. So we'll wait and see which way they go. Osborne Bulls is there for Godolphin. It's drawn six. Classique Legends drawn just to its inside barrier five. Brutal's drawn four. And Graf is an acceptor barrier two. A decision to be made later on in the week whether Graf will line up in this race or wait for the Silver Eagle the week after. At this stage, Ramwick's course proper is a soft five, but conditions warming up the latter part of the week. New Zealand racing on Saturday. We could see something very special there. There's been no horse that's won the Triple Crown at Hastings. Starcraft won it well won two races of the three but Melody Bell is going there on Saturday in the 2000 metre race, uh, the Lizamol, Livermore Classic, she's drawn beautifully in barrier two, she's look, she's won eight group ones in New Zealand and she's in stunning fashion as you see there uh, it's not the strongest Livermore Classic we've seen, the word is that Melody Bell will start a short price favourite in winning the Triple Crown at Hastings. Uh, the Kosciuszko, one final slot to go the Danny Williams original slot of course they lost Floki and also she knows due to injury uh, the owner of that slot the winner will make a decision tonight so we'll have that final horse over the next 12 hours or so uh, social media stay in contact with Sky but we'll keep you right up to date as we count down to Ramwick on Saturday